Hi friends, this is Joy Banerjee from Ask Joy B and in this particular session I will be letting you know how you can uh, stop the automatic update in Windows 10 and the automatic update is also creating some uh, more issues but those issues we will talk about later but to prevent from uh, some issues uh, like automatic restart loop so it is better to uh, stop automatic update and I will show you how to do it okay so best method I will show you the best method how to do it so what you need to do is you need to open run and then type gpedit.msc okay so it will open the group policy editor manager just maximize it and you just need to follow uh, the steps as I need to show you like you need to go to administrative templates then you need to go to all settings okay and then you need to locate for configure automatic updates okay you need to double click this the dialog box will open and you need to enable it and then you have uh, a option like you can disable as well right you can do the disable as well but I would prefer to enable it and make it like allow local admin to choose the choose uh, admin to choose settings okay so uh, this will uh, give you an option on which you as a local admin decide to uh, install the package and all okay so you can apply and you can click ok so after that this automatic update will not trigger up and for the safer side you can also do one more thing You can go to Windows Update Services. You just need to open services and some services.msc, and then you need to go to Windows Update. Uh, yeah, you can see this Windows Update Services running. So uh, at this moment, what you can do is you can just put it as a disable, and you apply. Okay. So uh, if this service is disabled, then uh, this is not going to really create an issue. So you just need to stop, and this is disabled. So in next starts, it will not really enable and create an issue. So if you want any specific update to be installed, it is it is very easy. You just need to go to Microsoft site and download and install it, which which would be a better solution because I've seen there are so many other issues um, uh, like automatic restart loop, which is very common in Windows 10. So this can prevent from that particular issue although there is some options uh, there is some CLI commands from which you can recover that posi particular position but still it is better to uh, get out of that particular issue okay so I uh, hope this particular video is informative so you can put any of the questions which you have in your mind you can ask me and I will feature and uh, I will feature your question in ask joy B okay um, so thank you very much do subscribe my channel and let me know if you need anything else thank you very much